Hello guys, good day and welcome to another unboxing video and today we're going to unbox another gaming uh, item so this gaming item is a uh, console controller or PC controller or PS4 controller so this controller is used for gaming so we're going to unbox this one and this product, uh, this product I bought this from Lazada and actually because of COVID-19 crisis it takes about uh, here, come here. It's the uh, console controller I purchased, guys. It's from Lazada. And I purchased this on May 1, 2020, and it arrived today, May 5, 18, 2020. So it takes only 18 days due to COVID crisis. So without further ado, we're going to unbox this one. And after that, we're going to test uh, this kind of controller so let's go so again the price of this product is e uh, let me check it here uh, the price is 877 but and the uh, delivery fee is 97 I think it's 97 so the total of 974 so this item only costs 974 if you're going to uh, buy this online so let's go, we're gonna unbox this one. I'm gonna use a scissor. So it is properly wrapped with bubble wrap and uh, I think it's, it's good. The product is good. So it is really indeed beautiful. Uh, it's such a beautiful bubble wrap seal. So here we go with the product. So it is on the plastic. So as you can see, this is the product. This is a PS4 controller and it is also compatible to PC. But I don't know Xbox, but it's compatible with PC and laptop and other console devices. This is the wire, and here is it the moment of truth the controller itself. So, here we go. Put this here, and I'm gonna hold this, guys. The only thing, the only difference here in a standard PS4 controller here, it is really look like a PS4, a standard PS4 controller, the weight and the texture. The only uh, difference is there is no PS logo here. So as you can see, there's no PS logo. So take it closer. There's no PS logo. So I'm going to get my PS4 controller and we are going to compare this controller to my standard PS4 controller. It's from Sony. So let's go. So guys, this is the PS4 standard controller. It is from Sony. And it is wrapped with uh, rubber for another protection uh, purposes. So as you can see, this is the original color of my PS4 controller. Uh, I'm sorry if it is kind of dirty. I didn't clean it for, for months, I think. So this is the standard controller. And yeah, imagine. It looks like original, but the difference is there's no uh, PS logo. So I think this is copycat of uh, this kind of controller, PS4 controller. This is only a copycat. That's why it's very, uh, mm, it's very cheap. So guys, this is the standard PS4 controller from Sony, and this is the uh, PS4 controller or console controller from Lazada. Uh, so when it comes to the weight, it's still the same. It's quite the same. And when it comes to the plastic, based on my observation, it's still the same. And this is. This is still uh, made with good plastic, just like uh, the Sony one. But I don't know the quality, but because it's very cheap, and this is very, uh, it's quite expensive. It's cost three thousand uh, PHP, so maybe the quality differ. But the design, I don't know. But as of now, they're both gorgeous. So when it comes to performance, let's find it out. And I already opened my PS4, so let's go. So again, the light, it shows that it is charging, but it's not blinking just like the standard PS4. Oh, it's quite blinking right now. So we're going to push its button here, just like the PS4. Let's find Oh, it's detect. 
Holy moly! Look at the screen! Now I'm gonna... Yes, even... There's no delay with the uh, analog stick. I'm gonna press the zero. I mean circle. And voila! So let's fire. Let's let's see if and, and the color turns to red. So let's find out if we can run games here. Uh, oh, we can run! So we're going to test here the uh, Detroit because the disc, the Detroit disc is in my console, so it's gonna be easy. So another click zero. I'm in circle, and let's find it out. Holy moly! So it worked. Amazing. It's cheap and it worked, but I don't know in the long run if it worked. So let us see if the quality here. Um, actually, it's just the version two of the controller because as you can see, there's light here, so it's red. And voila! So guys, as you can see, it's good. I don't know, maybe this is quite good because it's new, but I don't know in the long run. But if you really want to try, this is just quite cheap and it, it is functional. So, and it changes color according to the game, so maybe it's good. So, let's continue the game. And let's see if it's good. So let's go. Yeah. And when it comes to delay, it's just like a typical PS4 controller for me. But if you really want to try, you can buy. I spotted some differences of uh, this typical controller to this one. When it comes to vibration, the standard PS4 Sony controller vibrates uh, too much. I mean, uh, you can really feel the vibration. But here, when it comes to this uh, console, a cheap console, a console controller, uh, the vibration is not that uh, you cannot. It's it's hard for you to feel, but you can feel it, but not uh, unlike this one. So the vibration differs. But when it comes to performance and gaming, uh, the delay, I think it's it's quite the same with the typical PS4 controller. Guys, another difference I spotted here is when you are going to click the R3. This is the standard PS4, so as you can hear the sound, it it doesn't have a loud sound compared to this one. So you can really hear uh, the cheap uh, plastic inside which you use to this cheap controller. So that's it. If you want to find out the seller of this one, you can uh, message me because I'm not going to mention its name and since it doesn't have uh, they did give any give me any sponsorship so <laughs> that's it so thank you so guys if you want to buy a controller if you want cheaper one you can you can try this one but I don't know about the quality but uh, as of now as you can see here the screen it, uh, it functions well and it worked well as it designed and if you really want to go for a trusted one, so you're going to purchase for the brand that you trust the most, okay? So cheaper, but the quality, I don't know. Uh, but the performance, you can get it. But I don't know in the long run, maybe one year or or months, it will, you know, you're going to buy again. So I don't know. But if you really want trusted, it lasted for years, you can really go for a trusted one. But if you want to try the cheap one, you can use this. And when it comes to design, yeah, actually, for me, it's good. This is it's quite genuine, though it's just a copycat for the original one. So it's up to you guys. And uh, the design is good, and it's cheap. So not bad for eight hundred or nine hundred pesos compared to this one. It's it's uh, three thousand plus. So it's up to you guys. This one or this one. So. So thank you so much guys, if you found this video helpful to you, so I want you to hit like button, if, you, if it's opposite then it's up to you. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you learned a lot from this, 
unboxing video about this console PS4 controller from Lazada. Thank you.